Hi, what's up? This is Will Butter here. Hopefully all is going well for everyone. Every one of my subscribers, my friends. I just wanted to uh, talk to you about what's been going on in my head. Last night, I watched this not very well-known movie. May not be very well-known. To my generation and the previous generation, anyway. This movie is called Life Force. It was a movie that was made in 1985, directed by Toby Hooper. I've heard that it's based on the novel called The Space Vampires. I watched it last night. I thought it was pretty good in its own way. It had a pretty interesting um, multiple genre type of thing. Science fiction, horror, fantasy, drama, some drama, yeah. I think, I think that's what you call it. Pretty unique. What's amazing about that movie is the special effects, the practical visual effects. That was what made the movie awesome to me. Those type of special effects still hold up today. It's better than the cheap CGI shit used in today's movies. But don't get me wrong, there is some CGI that actually looks that looks pretty decent. But the really cheap CGI is awful, let me tell you. Just awful. So about what I'm thinking. I'm not going to spoil this. I'm not going to spoil the ending. I'm not going to even show you the ending. Because I don't want to spoil it for you. All I'm going to say is, all I'm going to say, the ending has a very little plot hole. Very little plot hole. So, in my opinion, it's calling out for a sequel. The thing is, the movie really didn't do the very well. It didn't do the best. It did fairly good at the box office in some countries. The thing is, it was made by a struggling distribution company called Canon Films. So, that may have something to do with uh, its not very successful time in theaters. But I'll, some people said that they loved it. I, I liked it too. So, I've heard that MGM owns some of the rights to the film. So I think it's possible to make, to do a sequel to that movie. And I want it, I want the movie to be called Life Force 40 Years Later. Like the, the sequel will take place 40 years after the events of the first film. It'll, that'll be 2025. So, I'm just imagining the beginning of the movie filling you in with uh, with a footage of uh, the events of the important events of the first film that that fills you in about what what's going on about what draws you to this second movie about forty years later. For this one, 
the space vampires return a new and improved ship they have and there's more of them there's going to be more plus a new space girl yes a new space girl and I'm just imagining that Elaine, Elaine, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I'll just call her Elaine. Elaine Powell. I really think Elaine Powell should play the new space girl. Because the looks of her, like, like I can see Elaine as the most evil, the most powerful space vampire who shows no mercy like her and the others they show no mercy to get what they want and if I ever become an actor I'm imagining myself playing the nephew of Colonel Carlson Colonel Thomas Carlson and I call my character Travis Carlson and he's um, he's just graduating from the uh, Naval Academy no not not <laughs> get it mixed, got it mixed up the Air Force Academy the US Air Force then he works on becoming a space astronaut until uh, the space vampires come back for the first time in 40 years for another attack sucking innocent souls from people to uh, gain power to themselves and making their making others like them their victims like one of them just like the first film and I would like uh, the main location of uh, their attacks to happen in San Diego, California and my character he, does, he doesn't know a thing about what had happened to his uncle because the others who knew him kept the secret from my from my character. So the new space girl would know that I that I am and related to Carl to Tom Carlson. So she'll go after me and the space girl before her she wants to be like her she would want to make me be with her so one of the other characters from the first film you would see him later in, in the new film then he would have no choice but to reveal to me that I am related to Tom Carlson, that I am his nephew. And he, he'll tell me everything that happened back in 1985 in London, England. About how he, he died saving the world. So what do you think about this? I think it's going to be I think it's going to be an awesome movie. I think it'll 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 be a box office success. It'll be a monster hit at the box office. I really hope so. But you know, before I forget, the one thing that would probably uh, bother people 
a, it'll be uh, the diehard Siren TV series fans who uh, who love seeing Aline Powell playing Rin in the TV show Siren. The thing is, uh, like Aline Powell playing such a dark, menacing, like real evil role. The thing is, like people who are diehard fans of hers, who are used to seeing her play Ren, like at the movie theater, then I'm probably uh, thinking of uh, of hearing those like people people like crying out loud Ren no well you know it is what it is but in my opinion Aline Powell she'll be perfect perfect for the role as the new space girl what do you think well who do you suggest let me know in the comments below who you suggest as the new space girl. It can't be Mathilda, Matilda, May. It can't be her. Because her character, her story's over. At least I think. At least I think it's over. But... In my opinion, Elaine Powell is the best candidate to play the new Space Girl in Life Force 40 years later. Well, that's my thoughts for tonight before I go to sleep. Just figure I'd get this off my chest and share it to everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to always love.